I'm a sucker for animatronic toys. I think they're really cute as long as they're not going Aah. Hey Baybats, I'm back and today I'm going to be checking out Frankie the Funky Flamingo, which is a new-ish product that was sent to me for free so I could check it out and give you guys a review. But I say new-ish because it was sort of delayed in getting to me, so this is kind of a late review. Sorry about that, but here it is. Before I open this, I will let you know I tried to find the price for this online, but it's kind of conflicting. So it seems as though it's going to be about 20 pounds in the UK, then in Australia it said 30, and in the States it says 20, and then in Canada it says nothing. So I'm going to assume that that's around 32. Not 32, but 30 as well. You know, this is the box Azuru sent me. It was supposed to be opened in September. Sorry about that. As I mentioned, it did take a while to get to me. A lot of packages came in all at once and I'm trying to get through the backlog. It's actually kind of good though, because then you guys get to see toy after toy after toy after toy. And you don't really have to wait till I go out and get some because not everything is always available in Canada when it's trendy and popular. So I am sorry that it's more so things that are being sent to me that you guys are checking out lately, but I'm also not sorry because I'll Otherwise, I wouldn't get to see them. And it's kind of cool and important to be able to show you what's popular while it's popular leading up into the holidays because you want to know if you should check it out, right? So there's that. I don't even know what I just said. But anyways, this is the box Zuru sent me. It's making me glow pink. Um, and to get rid of that, we're just going to open it and get right to what's inside. A pink lid. But wait, there's more. Looks like I have a little bag with photo props. And they all seem to be face pieces, which makes sense because that's where you would put the photo prop. Wow, Jen. What I mean is they all seem to be flamingo related to go with this theme. So we've got some flowers and a flamingo beak and some flamingo glasses. They're legitimately flamingos. They're pretty ridiculous, but that's not going to stop me from saving and using them. And this one here is probably going to be my best look. So some black shades and a beak. I can't really see what I look like though because I'm now blocking my vision. So just pretend it was awesome because that's what I'm going to assume it was. The next thing in the box is, whoa, 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 my funky flamingo. And that's it. There's a bit of tissue paper down at the bottom, but we don't really need to see that. Instead, we get to go directly to the actual product. And that's saying something because I'm pretty long winded. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to the point of the video. Sorry about that, but not really. So for the most part, this package reminds me of the Boppy or the Fifi packages that I've opened in the past because they are very clean cut in the way that all the Zuru packages seem to be. So they've got a clear plastic window so you get to see exactly what you're buying. And here is the back of the box. It says, it's time to get funky. Meet Frankie the Funky Flamingo. Her neck twirling moves will make you groove, dance, and shake to three funky songs. Apparently she will flap her wings, twirl her neck, and her super soft rainbow feathers will kind of jiggle around. Which makes sense because if you're moving your body, it's gonna jiggle. Now, unlike Fifi or Boppy, there's gonna be a surprise inside this package right there behind Frankie's neck. And now that we're done checking out the package, it's time to open, which means we need scissors. Let's make it happen, folks. Slice. Is that all we have to do? No. Too good to be true. There's tape on top as well. Oh, there's another piece. It was hiding very well. There we go. Okay, I thought I could just pull it out, but it is taped inside the box to the bottom of the box. Now, still can't do it. I guess we're gonna open the other side as well. One, two. Okay, try this one last time. I'm the one and only Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, here is Frankie. And uh, before I try to remove all this stuff, I'm just gonna go ahead and free that surprise egg. Oh, it's really on there. Whoop, there we go. Okay, now that that's over, let's go ahead and free Frankie. We just have to untwist a piece of twine at the bottom. And then there are two pink plastic jibbers that we're gonna twist to unlock them from the base of her bum. So basically these are locking her to the cardboard so she doesn't fall. And there we go, Frankie is now freed. So I will let you know that she does have very long legs. They're pink and silky and smooth with silver glitter and they're very reflective. However, they don't function as legs because she does have a flat base for her bum, meaning you are meant to kind of sit her on a ledge like that. But since I don't want to use a lid for the entire video, I'm just going to hold her in my hand. So apart from her legs, the rest of her body is fuzzy and a bright hot pink color. It's very, very soft. And she also has some really long shaggy rainbow fur on her feathers. Now this here is having some shedding, but I am hopeful that just like when you get a new doll, this will kind of stop after it starts being played with. Because initially there's always some loose fur that kind of just 
needs to fall out. Underneath the wings, we have a light pink soft material, and it seems to match the one on her beak. And on the left wing, we have a gold embroidered patch with a pink music note, and that's the button we'll squeeze to hear the music. But not yet. Because first, we have a very long pink neck and a bulbous round head. Yay! Frankie has a white face with a pink and black beak. She's got really nice embroidering on the eyes and the color is gold. It's like a metallic gold thread. It's really pretty. And her head seems to be like tipped to one side. And then to top it all off, she has some rainbow hair just atop her head to match her wings. And then on the back, she has floppy pink tail feathers. I kind of wish that they were also rainbow so it ties it all together, but I didn't design it. So it doesn't really matter, does it? So let's get our first glimpse at what Frankie does on try me mode at least. So that seems like it's a nice slow song. I really do hope that there's a bit of a faster one, but we won't know unless we turn it to the actual on position. By the way, you can also just turn it off, but who would want to do that? I feel like those were the right shades for that tune. Those songs are pretty short, but they are surprisingly long when you're trying to balance something from tipping over while it moves around thusly and hopeful that it doesn't fall either out of your hand or out of the frame. Just know that that was difficult. That's what I'm getting at. So that was the first song. Now on to the next. The good news is that no fluff was coming off during the flappy movements. And that's wonderful because it kind of means that hopefully the shedding has stopped and I can get behind that. So that is two songs down, one more to go. Oh. Oh my gosh, this flamingo needs glasses. It's official. Zuru make glasses for the flamingo, thank you. <laughs> that feels like, actually these are not the glasses that would have worked with that song. I should have used these for that song. But anyways, just pretend it was another strut your stuff kind of thing and that I chose the right glasses because that would have been good. Yeah, I actually like that song a lot. I like this flamingo a lot, but to be fair, I'm a sucker for animatronic toys. I think they're really cute as long as they're not going <laughs> in the background. And I actually didn't hear very much whirring with the flamingo, so I like it. But I mean, I could be easily impressed. and. I I guess if you like this sort of stuff, it's up to you to decide if you want it. Now, if it helps at all, I'll let you know that everything on her looks really, really good. There is, however, one spot that I did find effective, and that would be right here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but basically there's about this big a gap in the back of the fabric, and I can see the plastic underneath, and I really don't think you're meant to be able to. But other than that, everything on the flamingo looks really good. It's nicely made, nicely stitched, and other than the initial shedding, I didn't see any problems. Plus, she's is really cute and the songs are fun. Once again, still easily pleasable with music. <laughs> so I'm a little biased, I'll admit. Although that might be the end of Frankie, it is not. Get the fluff out of here. <laughs> it's not the end of the video because today, for the first time ever, I don't even know what to say because I'm not used to this, there's actually something extra in that little animatronic box in the form of this little surprise egg. And it is crazy cute. It's a little pink plastic egg. It's got little question marks all over and a little curly blue mop of hair on top. So let's open it up. Oh, oh no, we've got to pull it through, okay. So there's a hole in the egg. Inside, there is a little pink flamingo with that curly blue mop of hair. Does it turn or anything? No, it doesn't. Look how cute it is. Oh, the hair is really silky. I didn't expect that. And it seems to be glued in pretty well. It's kind of like it's braided and glued into this little head socket. That is so cute. Now I'm kind of wishing they had done this sooner so that Boppy could have had a mini Boppy and Fifi could have had a mini Fifi. I wonder if they plan on creating their own little line of these smaller characters to sell individually. Maybe this this is like a little glimpse of what's to come. I don't know. Don't hold out hope just in case I made that up. But either way, very cute. A nice little extra. And a little pal for Frankie. The little parrot on her shoulder. Good, bad, evil, sweet. Jen's gonna stop now. But not before one more song. What's it gonna be? Ah, the cool one. Alright, 
say bye to Frankie because we're done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video of Frankie doing her funky flamingo type dancing. And if you did, that you uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already because you don't want to miss out on any future fun toy videos from me, Jen, here on the Great Big Toy Box. And there's lots coming up because the holidays are approaching. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I have a lot to get through. Backlog and going forward log. Plus anything that I actually buy because I do buy things for myself. I just can't get to them in time because I still have to put these ones out. And oh my gosh, my brain is gonna explode. So if you don't want my brain to explode, make sure you come back and that way you'll know for sure that I am still in one piece and holding it together. As always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.